Oh, oh my god! Oh, no, no, no. You guys might have heard me say yesterday, but the Mortuary Assistant is finally out. For those that don't know, this is a game that we played the demo for a long time ago. Uh... I haven't even, I literally have not done a single thing yet in the game, but look around. And I've been dying for this game to come out. Enough of me talking about it, hyping it up. Let's jump in. Warning, what you're about to experience is based on real paranormal events. Research of the occult has shown that heightened moments of emotion such as fear can encourage the manifestation of hauntings. If after playing this game you experience abnormal happenings around your home or have sudden changes in the behavior of yourself or loved ones, reach out immediately to your local church and paranormal investigators. Copy that. All right, new shift. I'm so glad it's almost over. Congratulations, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. Don't Connecticut. I understand why you chose such a macabre field. There's nothing but... disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm proud of you. I really am. You come so far. So. You haven't told me what's next. Will you get a job where you are, or...? They actually have everyone they need. But my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> no. No, I'm not moving. He's actually located around here. River Fields. Oh, Rebecca. I don't like that. Grandma. Even I've heard things about that place. I'd just be worried people about you. People make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. And we try to explain things we don't understand, and we want comfort when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. Right, right. I'm sorry. But I wanted to give you this anyway. She looks like a grunge Taylor Swift. <laughs> I, I don't know if I want that. Just take it, please. It should be yours anyway. A little cross? Thanks. All right, enough spooky stuff. I'm so proud of you. When is all this happening? When do you start? I've actually been there for a few weeks now. My review is tomorrow. Um, did not expect an actual story to this game, but makes sense. I don't know why I didn't expect one, but okay. All right. Ooh, interesting. We're starting just inside. Last time we were able to walk in. Okay. Um, so I don't know what, what pace this game is going to move at. Like if we're immediately going to get thrown into all the creepy stuff. It does appear that we are immediately getting thrown into the creepy stuff, but, um, it should be interesting. <gasps> w, 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 W's in chat. W's in chat. 10 out of 10 game already. Uh, we don't even need to play the rest. We don't even need to play the rest. W. W, W, W. Hello, Lord. All right, what does this say? Rebecca, one last thing I forgot to give to you. Please grab a pencil from my desk and sign. Thanks, Zoe. Okay, nice. We got a pencil. There we go. Okay, I see now. Makes sense. Okay. I love that we can open and close windows. Also, love that it's daytime right now. Makes me feel just a little bit safer. Hello Rebecca. there. Oh, Great. oh my god. Timing. Someone's here. I just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Okay, Raymond. Whatever you say. Alright then. Please don't open your eyes. Okay. Um, open. Oswald. Nice. Now get in there. Cool. Alright, I'm getting the hang of this pretty quickly. Nope. Okay. Nice. We got our second body. I don't like the face she's giving me. Alright. 
I'm just finishing up something here, so why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks. Okay. I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. Oh, wow. All right. Inspecting a body. Hover the cursor over unique markings such as moles, scratches, bruises, and interact with them to record them to the clipboard. Okay. Oh! Hmm. These old windows never stay latched. Oh, Raymond, Raymond, Raymond. You silly goose. Alright, so we got some kind of, like, mole thing going on there. Ooh. Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. After that, we'll get started. For sure. To enter information, click the record... Rec what was that? I didn't say anything. You all right? Y yeah. I'm Are fine. you? Sorry. Are you all right? Whispering such shit into my ear. Come on, man. Uh, shoulder. Okay. I see. Nice. Jesus. Alright, you're still here. <laughs> okay, so now I go bring this to the front, right? Uh time to embalm. There we go. Alright. Wait a minute, where is where's this guy's car at? How did he get here? Alright. I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. I'll be monitoring. Everything's on your list there if you need it. So you're just gonna sit there and watch? What list? Oh, this list. Wired jaw shut with needle injector and setting needles. For sure, for sure. Um, okay, so we got setting needles and needle injector. Okay, cool. All right, miss. Setting the face, pull the manipulator up and press the injector button to drive barbs into the skull, then twist the wires to shut the jaw. Oh my god. I didn't realize that was like a button. There we go. Yeah, let's close that mouth up. Okay, now eye caps time. All right, cool. Uh, mix embalming fluid into pump. This I had trouble with last time. Uh, oh, but they have everything laid out. How nice. What the f- Hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly, and it can make them pop like that. Just keep doing your thing. I'll get it. Come on, bruh. You, you can't be serious right now. Oh, I know why. That's why. And... There we go. Make an incision in the cor corroded artery and jugular vein with scalpel. Nice! Okay, that's gross. Uh, using items. Some items need to be used directly on the body to use an item. Open quick inventory and select item needed. Okay. Uh... W. Engage pump and let the bot body drain. That is so loud. Oh, I was supposed to stop it. Uh, turn off pump, remove tubes, and close incision. 
Let's just strap that up. Nice. Okay. Fill an empty reservoir bag with cavity fluid. What is cavity fluid? Aha! Cavity fluid. I got this. Oh my god! Jesus! <laughs> Why is it so brutal? <laughs> I hate the noise it makes. Caleb, thank you for the follow. <laughs> god, that's so gross. No, that is, do not scar mac and cheese for me like that. There we go. Mix cleaners in bathroom closet to create tank cleaner, then pour into the embalming pump. In bathroom closet to create tank cleaner. Okay. Is that it? Oh Jesus! Fucking Christ! Nah, I don't like working mirrors in video games anymore. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. No thanks. Did you did you know about the ghost in the bathroom? I hate that he doesn't move, period. Like, he's not even breathing. Like a statue. Come on, now. I would've quit already. I would've quit already. You guys saw that, right? Apply moisturizer to facial features. Come here, let me see your face. Tell you what. What? Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. Uh, are you sure? I just got here. Don't worry. You're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. All right, say less, peace. Man, I'm I'm good off I'm good off that. Good night. Talk about a bad first day. It was just really weird. So some stuff. Oh, is there a way I could? Yeah. Fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know it, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? Yeah. So, that's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, like he just said it to get me out of the building. Uh, wait a sec, I have another call. Oh. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. Hey, nice. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Excellent. You're doing me a huge favor. I took care of the rest of your onboarding. We're all set. And your new badge is in your personal belongings drawer in the back room. That's great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay. Holy shit. That was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. See? I told you it was fine. Congratulations. Thanks. I have to go. Like, right now. I'll talk to you later. W's for Rebecca. Even though, let's be real. Uh, where are my keys? This is terrible news. So, uh, oh boy. This can't be good. How much you want to bet? Mr. Raymond ends up being one of the bodies. Oh, for sure it's a trap. He sketchily was like, oh, um, you could go home. And then now he's like, oh, I'm not feeling good. Can you come back? Especially he's asking a newbie to come back and do all this. I don't know about that one. Yeah, close the car door. Oh, 
right. I guess I'll head to the back and. <gasps> Ooh. Hi, Rebecca. <gasps> Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just try to stay calm. I know you're scared. I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? This is very sudden, but listen to me. We have to start right away. I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? Look, this isn't funny. Stop. You need to take this seriously. You need to act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> What am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. So we stay calm. Okay? We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. Treat it like a normal day. Staying focused will help. I left some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. No, wait. Dude, nah, bro. This is insane. This is so stupid. Just some hazing for the new girl or something. Just nah, yeah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. And do your job. Uh, maybe I could be wrong, but um, this kind of job, I don't think they would do hazing for new hires. So clearly, uh, our homeboy Raymond isn't telling us something. He said something bound to us earlier. So earlier, it wasn't just like some random ghost or something. It's, de it's something important. Mr. Match. A matchbox with one left. Let's get started. Okay, tape recorder. Old key. Hall key. I'm fucking quitting tomorrow. I mean, who does something like this? Wow, the windows are locked. Look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. Uh. Look, I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could do more for you. I had years to learn what I know. You have hours. <laughs> nah, that's... I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be manipulated. Listen to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. Burn the correct body. The most important thing in the room is in that cabinet. Open it up. Good luck, Rebecca. I'm sorry this had to happen. This is insane. Whatever. Just be the professional one, grab a body, and get started. Oh my god, why would you- I, I would believe this. I would- I would 100% believe Raymond's. This is way too far of a joke. Alright, so these look like- these are the tapes. All of whatever this is. I'm getting back to work. Come on, bruh. <laughs> what is... Nah, I don't even know where to get started with that. Mini cassette tape. Tools full of expulsion. To hell. It must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center is called Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious. 
obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture. Anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them, so check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the Night Shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with, and use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Uncover the sigils. Build the mark and place it on the body. Then, when you're certain, burn it in the retort. Like what? The process of possession? Excuse me? Alright. This is very complicated, but I believe that we'll get through it. Uh... Alright. So these are all new bodies. We'll start with Ru uh, Rupert. Rupert. Whatever this guy's name is over here. Oh god, I hate how their eyes open and stuff. Alright, let's check you out. I oh. don't have my clipboard. Shut up. At least I just I grabbed it. Track of things. Okay. So we'll just do one body, and I guess we'll. Phew, mother. Hello? Okay. Nope, nope. New job. I'm getting out of here. M Mr. Rupert, I'm gonna need you to not do that. Should I actually attempt to leave? How long I went to school? You clear path. Fuck this. Fine. Maybe. No. Maybe everything's fine. It's it's fine. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> No, I, I just, 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 just. I'm just saying things. I just need to get back to work. It's it's fine. So can I actually leave? Try it. Gonna turn off the lyrics for a second. Oh, fuck. Oh, you're kidding uh, me. I can't believe it. What am I doing? This is ridiculous. I shouldn't be out here. It's my fucking fault. Get back to work. Nah, she's tripping already, and we just got started. Ooh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll get back to work. Say less, say less. I just saw myself decapitated. I'm good. I'm I'm here. I'm here. Don't worry. Don't worry. Who closed this? Leave that open. All right. All right. Back to work. Back to work, guys. Gross. What are those markings? I think that's everything. Oh, wait, I could rotate him. Oh, hold on. There we go. Okay, there we go. Alright, cool. Left shoulder is nothing. Right shoulder. Right arm. Right leg. Left leg. Head. Age. Rupert. Smith. WWW. I need to file the copy up front. Thank you. I am fully aware. Time to embalm. Yes, it is. 
Nah, the fact that she already got possessed for a second is actually crazy, though. Alright. Uh, why are your jaws shut? Oh, no! All the tools aren't out. That's not fun. Why do you gotta make me do this? Large old key. Oh, there's my card. New work badge, WW. Oh, I can't even pick it up. Uh, extra keys. Okay. Oh, that's his... No, look at this man's face! You're gonna tell me this wasn't destined to happen? Raymond, I really need a key to the hatch outside. Cleaner is low, and you mentioned having some down there before. I know you don't trust anyone to go down there, but having a copy of the key would make things a lot easier for everyone. Zoe. So I'm guessing... Alright, that old key that we found must be for the hatch outside. No, stop that. No. Alright. Is that me? Oh. Let's take it easy now. Put them hands down. Well, that's not how lights work. Ooh. Alrighty then, time to continue our work. Uh, mix embalming fluid and pump. Okay, dope. That should be it. Reagent in the old cabinet. Oh yes, okay, here we go. Now we're, now we're getting into it. So I guess the reagent helps, helps let us know if it's like a demon body. Okay, it's time for everybody's favorite part. Uh, oh yeah, in the trocar. Alright. Boom. I'm getting pretty good at this already, guys. There we go. Get it all up in there. We're doing really good so far. Mix, oh no. Mix cleaners in the bathroom closet. I don't like where this is going. No, stop. Keep to myself. All right, everything's good. All right, time to wipe your face. All right. Nice. Who said that? Are you sure? Who was you talking to just now, Rebecca? I don't like that my character is having conversations with demons that I don't know about. Did you hear her? She was like, are you sure? So she knows what they were saying. Good night. Okay, on to the next one, I guess. All right, Josh, it's your turn. Let's go, Josh. Wait, one second. Tree two. Oh, nope, wrong thing. And wait, what? Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. 
Wait, I want to look at, um... Systems only for river fields. Morticians. Oh, yeah. The night code's on the back of his card, I believe. 783861. Jesus. Okay. Um, while learning the name of the demonic entity is more about waiting, identifying which body is experiencing the demonic tendency requires paying close attention. While any of the bodies can be manipulated, it is far easier for the entity con to control its own vessel. Sudden movements, large or small, can be a sign of... Alright, so basically, the way I'm seeing this is that we're going to analyze all the bodies... And then we're going to look at this after. Let's get started, shall we? Bonk. 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 All right. Hello? Rupert? We're done with you, Rupert, remember? You had your time already, man. Go back to bed. Silly Rupert. Okay, and now we hit the bank. Yeah, I'm getting better. Getting quicker. It's everybody's favorite part. There we go. Let's go, boss. Uh, hello? I need to report a missing person. Uh, sorry, uh, her name is Rebecca Owens. She's 14. She, she, she has a drug problem. I, I, I don't know. Uh, she was here at the house. I understand that. I need you to check them. All right. All right. Uh, I'll keep an eye out. Thank you. So it appears Rebecca may have ran away at one point when she was 14 and she had a drug problem, huh? I don't like that the door was slightly open there. The bathroom closet again. Damn it. You definitely don't trust the phones. It said, like, slit your wrist or something on there just now. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Okay. Uh, hello? I need to report a missing person. She... She, she has a drug problem. She, she has a drug problem. Rebecca! Rebecca! Is she like overdosing or something? Get you out of here. The police are just right, right up there. I'll, I'm coming back. I'm coming right back. Hey! Hey, I found her! Down here! Did that really happen to her? No, I can't tell if that's like the demon manipulating her dreams or if that's like, or if that really happened. I guess you could say they were in a slippery situation. Ah, Ice Ninja one. All right. This is who I think it is. Rupert! We talked about this. Go to bed. 
Jeez, enough, man. Didn't you get enough attention today? Alright, I expect shit to really start hitting the fan right now. Because this is the last body. Ooh, no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nah, dude, the way they executed that was crazy. That was, dude, that was actually really good. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright. Bonk. Bonk. I'm missing something. No, you're not. I'm missing something. No, you're not. Come over here. Hell no. Think you could just say that and I'm actually gonna walk over Rebecca. there? Rebecca! Oh, Jesus Christ! Rupert! 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 We talked about this. We talked about this, homeboy. You have to go to sleep. You can't keep doing this. Fuck off with that. <laughs> like... Alright, I think we know which body we're using, chat. I think we know which one to go with. <laughs> Just saying. Alright, this is this is the part I wasn't waiting for. So I don't know if you noticed before, when we went in the bathroom, there was only one tank cleaner left. Um, and we used it. And apparently, according to this post-it... Um, Raymond, I really need a key to the hatch outside. Cleaner is low, and she mentioned having some down there before. So, we need to go into the basement to, to get more cleaner. And the demon's really picking up pace right now, so maybe I should have did that earlier. Listen, you gotta relax. You gotta chill the fuck out. Because I have to go down there and I'm not doing this while you're going crazy like this. Here, I think. That's not it. Really? That's not it. That's not it. That's not the key? So then what the hell is... So then what's this key for? Yeah, you would think this would be the set, but for some reason I can't grab it. But it's definitely... This is definitely the case. Cleaner is low and you mentioned having some down there before. I know you don't trust anyone to go down there, but having a copy of the key would make things a lot easier for everyone. Well, maybe I gotta go back there anyway. And then my character will realize there isn't any. Oh, never mind. I'm silly. Something just happened. Hello? <clears throat> okay, I'm very scared. Because, no, that's the point. I hear nothing. Before it was like you could hear the rain outside, like the little ambience. It's silence now. And it only happened after I grabbed the cleaner.
What the hell? Oh! Wait, no, I definitely saw that. Did you see the girl crawl out of the floor? No, some girl just came out. If you clip that, some girl came out of the floor there for a second, but I looked away as she did. Dude, what is this? Get tubing by bed, get needle from bathroom, find lighter, get spoon from coffee table, find full baggie on kitchen counter. I don't like where this is going. Find lighter. Yeah, is this from our past when we were like doing drugs and stuff? Oh yeah. Find full bag on kitchen counter. Fuck no, fuck no, fuck no, hell, hell, hell fucking no, hell fucking no, bitch. Fuck out of here with that shit. Nah, that looked crazy the way she started crawling like that. Hell no. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. Okay, now we return the body to cold storage. I'm still confused on the whole basement ordeal though. Why would they mention the basement if we're not gonna go in it? You know what I mean? Like that felt like a perfect opportunity for that. All right, I'm gonna leave that not gonna lie I do feel more comfortable with the body with me after seeing that just now come on Rupert I know it's you bro it's got to be you you the only one that's been fuck fuck who said to bring out Rupert Rupert I'm gonna need you to relax. Fuck this. My man? It's all good. It's all good, okay? Just just relax. We're we're gonna I'm bringing you back. Can you stop? Um, yeah, so time to listen to these tapes and stuff now. Was that you that made that noise? Oh! You're pointing that way. Well, I'm not going that way. I'm going this way. Alright, I guess I'm going that way.
And shit. Alright. We got ourselves stuck. Oh, nah. No. No. Listen, we could talk about this. I know I ran away from you before. I was trying to do drugs, and you interrupted me and started chasing me on all fours. So you can't blame me for wanting to run away. Alright, I feel like I had good reason. No. Do you agree? I'm talking to you. Okay. Oh, Jesus! What the fuck is that? Where's the notepad to check, man? Where's the notepad? Oh. Okay. We got our first symbol. Alright, so let's see. This looks like a stick man with his arm a little messed up and he's sitting on a table with a big ball. We got anything like that here? It doesn't look like we do. Should I re-listen to the... Or what's this again? We have to walk around with this right in our hand. Okay, then. <laughs> yeah, this shit's on fire here. All right. Um... Can I rip this? Or do I have to put that one down? Tools of expulsion. An entity must be bound to its original vessel, and that vessel destroyed in order to stop the process of possession. Throughout my work, I've managed to discover and establish a set of tools to bring about banishment of demon demonic entities. The occupied body must contain the reagent, the mark must have the correct demonic name, and the mark must be placed on the correct body and burned. Below are all the tools I'm aware of in their usage. Alright, so the mark. The mark is one of two tools used to bind the demon to its chosen vessel. Each slot holds a sigil that represents a part of the demon's name. When all four are placed in the correct configuration, place the completed mark on the vessel believed to have demonic tendency. The mark will react to the ball full reagent inside, binding the demon to it. Once the demon is bound, burn the body. Uncovering the demon's name. The edification can only be completed once the demon has inscribed the four sigils of its name into our world. They are hidden from us until revealed by the burning of letting parchment. Once all four sigils are discovered, the name of the demon will be known. Okay, so he did say... You going somewhere? Alrighty then. Yeah, so I believe lighting this thing... Uh, where's the tapes? Can I listen to... Was it one? You should have fucking died. I will slit your ashes. And your last vision as they wither will be as the flesh being peeled from your legs. And all that will be left is the eternal pain and darkness. You will beg me. To take that is not the first tape. The night shift database. Thank you. A computer oh, uh, no, I want to listen to this one. To hell. It must be bound to its chosen body and burned. I already have one of those. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration is <laughs> Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere, so look on walls, under objects, inside furniture, anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them, so check regularly. 
Once you uncover the sigils, use the Night Shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with, and use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Uncover the sigils. Fill the mark and place it on the body. Then, when you're certain, burn it in the retort. Alright, cool. I think I know the process that we're going to do. Okay, so we just keep walking around with these. Ooh. Oh, I thought I saw somebody back there. Um, how far deep are we into the game? Uh, this is the full game, and we're about an hour and 40 in. So we're pretty far right now. We're getting close to the end. But there's multiple... Apparently, um, the first playthrough of this game isn't, like, the end. Alright, that's like an L with a dot. Because the first time you play it is apparently the easiest one. And then as you play it more, the game gets scarier and scarier. And there's, like, different endings and stuff. So we'll, we will definitely play this again one day at some point on stream. My goal is to just finish the game once right now. Maybe in the bathroom? Fuck that. Music's amping up. Something's coming. Something's about to happen. Just do it already. I can't tell if it's even getting faster anymore. Okay. Backwards P. Oh no, what was that? I'm not tripping, I saw something there. Alright, how do I put this thing on? Okay. It's- this, it has to be him. Alright, bro, listen. Listen, man. I need you to get your shit together. Because I need to place this on you. He's literally, like, just contorted. I can't even do anything to him. No, am I- What the hell? Wait, no. Why is it... No, 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 no. Why is it still black? No. No, chill. Chill, 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 chill. Oh, come on. Don't do this. Don't do this. Raymond? Let me go! What are you doing? Sorry. This is the only way. We don't know. Why are you doing this? Help me, please! Please, Raymond! Raymond! I think I lost.
I didn't think it would be on an actual time limit, but that makes so much sense. Like, I know he said, like, you have a certain amount of time, but... Yeah, see... Wait. We didn't even get one of the endings. Because none of... Th these aren't even lit up. Wait, yeah, what happens if we continue? How far in are we? Oh, cool. Alright, we're basically done. Okay. So, before we get started in the finals... Okay. Sigils of Demonic Names. This is the sigil that- this is- this is the post-it that we wrote. Okay. I see. It's Masset. That's why it didn't latch. Backwards P. So they are the same. Which means I'm pretty sure it is mass set, right? Yeah. P Z L T. Okay. Yeah, it's good, right? Bitch. He knows, he knows, he knows. What's up, Masset? Pull up. I'm almost sure I'm gonna have to bring him inside and put it on him. Fuck off. Oof! No, 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 what? I just wanted to visit you. Don't you miss me? No. I bought you something. I thought maybe you could slit your wrist for me. Just a little cut. What's wrong, Rebecca? No, don't start contorting yourself. Don't do it. Why am I so zoomed in? Oh my god. It's fake. It's fake. Okay. Shit, I was so confident that we were good, but maybe not. Path to banishment. Embalm each body with a special reagent, okay? Use letting strips from the cabinet to attempt to reveal demonic sigils. Compare the found demonic sigils to demon's names within the night shift database. Done. Build the mark to match the demon's name. Done. Pay attention to each body for demonic activity. Okay, it's definitely this one. Note that bringing on an already embalmed body back out to reinspect for changes may be necessary. Place the mark on the body believed to have demonic tendency. Burn that body in the retard before possession takes hold. Alright, so I guess I just burn him are you sure this is the right one yes good night sir good night mass it ggs I think that was him, guys. Get up! Get up! Get up! What are you doing? W. L. L. Masset. L. W. Rebecca. There you are. Good. 
Is it over? It's never over. But you survived. What, what do you mean it's never over? What do you mean? Can I leave? I want to go home. You can leave. But once an entity finds you, all the houses of hell will do anything to get back to you. I'm sorry, but it doesn't end here. From now on, there is always a chance this will happen again. No matter where you are. I don't want this. I just want to leave. What do I do? I'm sorry, but there's no going back. I've spent years learning everything I can to keep these entities at bay. It's the only thing we can do. So what? You're waging some selfless holy war? It's not a war. It's survival. And I'd hardly call it selfless. We're caught at the front line of something larger. But I don't do this for some greater good. We either face it or fall to it. I wish I could claim to be someone better. Suffering hell to save us all. But I simply want to live another day, just like everyone else. When I first experienced this, I had to make a choice. I could run and spend the rest of my days in fear, or I could learn to face it and keep some semblance of a normal life. Normal. Right. It's not a life I would want for anyone, but choosing between a life of fear or control. You're the first person I've met to face this hell and survive. Yeah, no big deal. So I'm offering you a different kind of job. Work the night shift. Learn what I know. Give yourself a chance at a life beyond fear. I don't know what you experienced, but I know it uses the worst parts of you against yourself. The more you experience, the more you'll confront the darkest parts of your life. But through it, you'll become unbreakable. I'm offering the tools to take control. The choice is yours. I hope you come back. Wow. Wow. That's top three horror games. Easy. Easy. Scares are good. They're not necessarily predictable. Um, story is dope. I love the concept. And the best part is, chat, it's not over yet. There is so much more. So much more. So, um, if you, in case you didn't hear me say it earlier, this game does have like five or six endings or something like that. They tweeted that after you see the credits roll once, it is, you are nowhere close to the end of the game. Every time you play it again, you learn more and more scares happen. So like scares that didn't happen this time will happen in the next playthrough and it keeps going. So you keep learning more information, which makes sense why we didn't go in the basement in this one. Um, there was a lot of things like talked about and discussed, like, you know, they referenced like your drug addiction at one point, And like we saw that flashback. A lot of that's unexplained. Like we don't get to know more of that. So there will be more to this game. So, yeah, like, see, we got ending one of five shifts completed one times possessed one demons banished one bodies embalmed three bodies burned one. I'm guessing you could play through it again. And, like, if you could figure out which body is the one possessed, you could probably take out the body much quicker. Yeah, I guess time will tell. We're definitely going to play this again, 100%. Because this game is way too good not to get everything out of it. I mean, two hours, and we completed one playthrough. And apparently there's, like, six different playthroughs, and they're all different. So I'm, I'm incredibly impressed with this.